Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Riley Kramer. And I'm Johnny Robinson. On this week's episode, we'll give you insight into Mr. Lenny's AP Bio class, Game Day Northwest, a look at world news, and more. As many of you have probably noticed, there have been posters and tweets regarding an election occurring in Mr. Lenny's AP Bio class. Cell lection is a way to get kids engaged in learning the cell structure and functions of parts of the cell so they can better understand how it all fits together. Each student group of three or four uh, students was assigned a organelle that they had to research about, find out what it did and how it worked, and create an election campaign to try and get that elected the most important organelle in the cell. The nucleus won with over 750 votes, followed closely by the plasma membrane and mitochondria. Last Friday, tragedy struck a local high school in Missouri. We here at Olathe Northwest wanted to reach out to Lee Summit North to show our support. Student Council created posters for Lee Summit North that will be sent to them to show them that they are loved by the Raven Nation. Students stopped by the Flex Theater Wednesday and Thursday during Raven 50 to sign their name on the poster. It was brought up by um, Mrs. Hilliard, actually. She approached Student Council saying, um, in spite of the recent events, we think we should do something. And so that's when Student Council took initiative saying, um, we agree we should do something. So we thought the best thing to do would be to make posters that the student body could sign to show our love and support for Lee Summit North. I just know that um, Olathe Northwest, we've been through similar experiences, so I think it's important to have that bond with Lee Summit North to know that we know what you're going through and we're here to help you if we need it. Now let's throw it to game day to catch us up on what's happening in sports this week. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. I'm Chris Pooler alongside Alyssa Clinton. Last Friday, a Raven football team battled it out against Leavenworth High School. The Ravens started out the game with a boom as the defensive end, Jack Parks, jumped up over the defense, getting a pick six to start the game out with a 7-0 lead. Northwest storms on the field as John Bowen bolts into the end zone, making it a 14-0 lead. Andrew, Andrew Dumas snags a pass from Braden Cook, taking it to the end zone with a 21-0 lead. Pioneers get their first points on the board with a 60-yard pass, running, running down the field, knocking over the ref, taking it into the end zone, making it 21 to 7. John Bowman breaking through the defense with a 30-yard run, attacking on another seven points to end the second quarter, 28 to 7. Andrew Dumas breaks some tackles, taking it in, into the end zone, making it 35 to 7. Nick Haggerty slams through the defense. Nick Haggerty takes the ball, slamming through the defense for another touchdown, making the score 42 to nothing. Pioneers end with a safety, making it 48 to nine. Tonight is senior night at Seaback to make sure to come out and support the Ravens at 7 p.m. tonight. Speaking of senior night, the Lady Raven volleyball team honor their seniors Monday night before their match against Shawnee Mission South. It was senior night at ONW for the volleyball team. Senior Georgia Mullins, Jaden Chase, and Taylor Cooper were recognized for all they've done this school year. The senior leaders would go on to lead their team against Shawnee Mission South. In the first set, the Ravens started with a bang. Taylor Cooper, Taylor Cooper and Lindsey Heller led the girls in kills with help from Courtney Jackson setting the ball. The Ravens won the first and second set. The Ravens won the third set and sent the seniors out with a win for the night. Come out and support the Raven volleyball team tonight. Last Saturday, September 30th, the Raven cross country team handed, headed to Raymore Peculiar High School for the meet with other teams throughout the Kansas City metro area. The race was held in Panther country. The Ray Peck course was winding through the trees and fields surrounding the school. On the girls' side, Leah Wellman finished 27th with a time of 20 minutes and 14 seconds. Ashton Dane placed in the top 40 running in with a time of 20 minutes and 25 seconds, snagging 36th place. The Ravens' first male finisher was Bradley Davis in 99th place. The boys finished 21st as a team. The next meet will be October 14th against the Lawrence Free State. Make sure to check out the first edition of the Raven Roundup on the Raven Daily YouTube page. That's it for Game Day Northwest. Now back to the desk. In the latest news for the Las Vegas shooting, Stephen Patrick, Paddock's girlfriend arrived back in the stage from the Philippines. She is a person of interest in the investigation of Paddock after he killed almost 60 in a shooting rampage for a room in the Mandalay Bay Hotel in Las Vegas. Over 150 people are still in the hospital with injuries sustained during the massacre. In a shooting in Lawrence on Saturday night, five people were shot, causing three to lose their lives. Although it happened on the frequently busy Mass Street near the University of Kansas campus, authorities have been unable to identify or locate the shooter. 
On Monday, the famous singer and guitarist Tom Petty suffered a devastating heart attack at the age of 66. Petty was taken off life support later that night by his family. He sold over 80 million albums during his lifetime as a solo artist with the band Heartbreakers. Three billion, that's how many Yahoo accounts were breached in a 2016 hack. The giant web service provider tripled their amount of estimated accounts that were exposed. The three billion exposed are roughly the entire amount of Yahoo accounts across many platforms like email, Tumblr, and fantasy sports. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of OWNW Now. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Daily and add us on Snapchat at OWNW to stay up to date with what's going on here at Northwest. For Riley Kramer and the rest of the Convergence team, I'm Johnny Robinson. Have a great week, Ravens.